Hey folks, how are you? It's Mickey Yermo. Happy Monday. It is uh, December the 7th and uh, we're rock and rolling. Day number 7 here at the 100 Day Reality Challenge. Checking in to say hello and to tell you all that I'm really excited about what we're doing here. Um, I don't really have a written or detailed progress report so far, but I do want to say that I'm really excited about what's going on and the focus that I have right now with everything that I'm trying to do. And, uh, and uh, you know, just get more refocused here on the first few days of the 100 Day Challenge. And uh, nah, that's about it. I just want to say hello. I'm here rocking and rolling, baby. Keep it going. I'll see you soon, okay? I want to report back in a couple of days and, and um, give you guys, I guess, a better idea of what I'm doing with my daily planning. I took a, a, a time management course a long time ago. And one of the things that I continue to do uh, and which I got away from doing which I'm you know starting to do back again now was to plan my day every day that's one of the key principles of time management you need to plan your day in advance and schedule the things that you want to accomplish into your planner one thing you know and do one thing at a time and schedule uh, the system that I took a seminar with teaches you to pick the things that you want to accomplish and also you need to um, estimate how much time each thing is going to take you that's a key thing this way you don't over schedule to do's on your to-do list and then feel like you're a failure at the end of the day so this is a, a more time consuming up front you spend more time scheduling your day but it's worth it in the end because that way you're working with a very realistic plan of what you can accomplish and so basically once you pick the things that you 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 have to do or that you want to do that you have to accomplish that day that are that are like you know priority things or that are in your A1 type list um, you put them on there and then you you schedule you, you you number them or you classify them as A1 for your priority A's A2 A3 A4 you number them so you put them in sequence that you're going to execute them in if it's a B priority it means it's something that can be you know passed to the next day if it's a C priority it means that you know you shouldn't even be doing that. But a C means like, you know, I guess you a fill or something you can fill in with a, a spot of time that you have that, that freed up or something like that. Uh, so you, you, you schedule your activities, A, B, C's, priority, and one, two, three, four, five in within those uh, time slots. And then you schedule the activities within your, your time slots. You know, like if you, if you got A1 and it's going to take you 30 minutes and you've got a 30 minute block of time in the morning, that's where you put your A1 and that's where you work it and then that you follow that schedule that predetermined plan and schedule of you know sequential execution and you have a 99% chance that you're gonna get your your stuff done so that's one of, that's my plan that's my daily plan and the, the backbone of the system that I use and you know it works it, it works if you work it you know you just have to plan and also it teaches you to plan the day before you do this planning the day before, of course, you always revisit it in the morning before you start your day and, uh, you know, change whatever you need to change and, and adjust it. And it also, it's also dynamic, so you, you want to do it in pencil because things change and stuff comes up. So you want to also have that flexibility to be able to change that plan and, uh, you know, be flexible with it. And I guess in other, in other uh, recordings, I'll touch up on other parts of it, but, you know, it's like anything. You have to have... You know, the big picture, then you have to have the smaller goals, the weekly goals, which tie into the monthly goals, which tie into your yearly goals, and which that ties into your vision and to your mission and all those, you know, bigger picture type things that, that you want to, you know, keep uh, your mind on and your focus on. So I hope this uh, gives you some clear picture of what I'm, how I'm doing it. And uh, I have these sheets that you know, that I use for the plan that I got from this uh, seminar. If I feel, if anybody wants them, I can email them to you. Just, you know, shoot me an email and uh, through, through the message or something and I'll be, be glad to send you the, the, the worksheet that I use, the daily planning sheet that I use. And I use like, you know, I use it in a daily, like a binder like this. See? And I put the, the sheets in here. Oh, I also have 1 to 31s uh, in, in this planner. So one, one, uh, one sheet for each day, as you can see. That's what it looks like. And here's where you put your to-dos. Here's where you schedule the, the time, the activities in the calendar, in the day calendar. And uh, that's how you do it. Um, and also, this also teaches you to time activate activities. So if, you, if somebody calls you today and tells you, hey, you know, call me next week, you know, at, at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And, uh, or call me next week, period. Call me next Wednesday. 
How do you remember to do that? Well, I use Outlook for that, uh, my computer, but this system with the, the 131s, if you don't want to use Outlook and you want to have a paper system completely, you can put that on your on that date, you know, schedule it in, write on that to-do list, you know, call, you know, uh, Joe Schmo and, and uh, on that day and that, that reminds you so this system also teaches you to take the burden off your mind and use anything that is available to you whether it be your desktop your outlook whatever it is that you use your you know a planning system to unload all the things that you have in your mind that you have to do and put them on paper and have it in the system that will itself remind you when that day comes so uh, I hope that helps you out, and if you have something else to share about your system and, and your, your uh, methods, please share that with me. I appreciate it. Now, peace and love. I'll see you soon. I'm using our new flip phone, so I have to reach over and turn it off because it's not my, uh, my uh, camera. So, hey, have a great day. Make it a great day, a great week, and peace and love. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.